All right, guys, so a few hours ago, Nexus received a new firmware update, and it's probably the biggest update a Zim product has ever received so far. It's actually so big that it deserved its own blog post, which honestly is a first for firmware updates. Now, normally, I would now show you how to get the new firmware and what you must do to install it. But given how huge this firmware is, I will just refer to the links in the video description. You can click on those to download the firmware or to look up the installation steps. I have also added a link to the blog post. Now let's look at the new Nexus firmware and its features. One of the most popular features of Sim Apex are its subconfigs. They allow you to realize all kinds of tricks, such as slide cancelling or automatically holding your breath in Call of Duty games. But subconfigs have two big problems. First, they are limited to only four subconfigs, and secondly, they just don't exist on Zim Nexus. Now, the Zim devs did not only want to solve those two problems, but they also wanted to go several steps beyond that. And the result of that is a brand new Smart Action feature. Smart Actions are basically an evolution to subconfigs, and they are better in every possible regard. Not only do you have 30 subconfigs at hand per button binding, but you also have much more possibilities and customization options. And all of that is handled in a very clean and intuitive Smart Action Manager. So let's have a look at this new Smart Action Manager. Smart Actions are very similar to macros or scripts, but they are much easier to set up. Just like with subconfigs, you can for example define a button sequence and Nexus will replay it by pressing the activation button. All you must do is to pick the buttons at the bottom and then add a duration you want to run those for. As you can see, all of this is customizable with just a few clicks. Now, what I created here is a quick smart action for teabagging. So, when I switch into the game and hold down the button, I will do a quick crouch spam. And I can of course adjust the delay values with just a few clicks to make it slower or faster. But that is of course not everything that you can realize with smart actions. In the blog post, you can find a list of options that are currently possible. And that is just the beginning, as more options will be added with future firmware updates. In two or three days, I will probably upload a short overview on what smart actions can currently do. So in that video, I will go over all options in more detail. Now, before I end the video, you can of course also use smart actions to compensate weapon recoil. Here you can see the result when using smart actions for that. And just to show you the difference, here you can see the weapon without any recoil compensation. The weapon you can see right now has one of the strongest weapon recoils of all console games. Next week I will probably release a guide on how to set up smart actions for weapon recoil. So if you want to learn more about that, then just subscribe to my YouTube channel. So guys, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button or maybe even subscribe to this channel to not miss out on any of the upcoming videos. Also, contrary to popular belief, this channel is not an official Zim channel. I run this channel in my free time to bring you guys the latest Zim news and tricks. So if you want to support what I do, then maybe consider to join the YouTube channel membership. Channel members usually get around 1-4 to four weeks of early access to all new videos. Plus, we also have a nice little Discord to discuss Zim settings and other stuff. But that's about it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching and I will maybe see you in the next one.